Hello, Mr. Ollivander. I wondered if you might be able to help me with something. Yes. Professor Fig sent an owl informing me that you'd be coming. He was a bit cryptic, said you need to have a special wand crafted, that you'd bring me the materials. Yes, sir. I have them here. Oh, my. How extraordinary. Remarkable design. I will be honest, I have never crafted a wand in this fashion. Repaired broken wands, of course, but this is something else entirely. Keeping me on my toes, aren't you? I think I can work with what you've brought me. Let me see what I can do. Special wand, special wand, special powers, let's go. It is done. Ooh. Very fancy, sir. I should warn you, I've never seen a one like this before. My suspicion, as Professor Fig implied in his letter, is that it serves a unique purpose. I doubt you shall find much use for it otherwise. I understand. Thank you, sir. Oh, Jesus. Rookwood! I'm afraid you're on your own. I've ensured that we have a moment to ourselves. Oh, come, come. No need for such theatrics. In light of what Ranrock now knows, you must agree that our interests are aligned. Barely! Our interests will never be aligned. You would let goblins take what is rightfully ours? The final repository belongs to wizard kind. We would be fools not to work together. We would be fools to work together. What's that you've got there? It's just a wand. Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? Nope, someone needed to repair no the wand. I what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright. Charles Rookwood wouldn't have wanted you near it. <laughs> The arrogance. Should have known better than to try and reason with a child. I've always said, children should be seen and not heard. Damn, you sound like the goblins that cursed in. Whoa! I was about to say, in a fight, I don't think he wins this, but in an ambush like that, all right, he's got me there. Oh, taking me to a combat arena, huh? Let's get this a try. Uh, I'll see you no more happy days for you. I didn't expect to get attacked so immediately. Damn, not everyone was cursed, I guess. That's all right. We've got a way to uh, survive all of this. Boost my power. Time to teach someone a lesson. More. <laughs> Yeah, 
them. They really aren't standing a chance here. Send some more executioners. Or bring yourself out here, Rookwood. Yes. Oh, I was about to do the same thing to you. Am I, am I spamming triangle or am I holding it? I'm spamming triangle. Well done for a child. My frame rate. That's what he really killed. No more happy. Oh, I'm going to be joy. I hit the wrong person. Hello? You dare? I'm looking for opportunities to, uh, Nevada Cadabra. Mm, yeah, okay. I'm not trying to deal with these in theory. No more happy days to you. I don't know. Things are going pretty well for me. Yeah, you give me a second. I want to do Vada Cadabra. But it's a little far off for us. What the? Damn it, everything's on cooldown. Yes, that's right, Crucio. Rookwood, where are you? Come out here, have a real fight with me. Well, it's square this time, all right. I'm glad through sheer power I can just resist a Vada Kedavra. What happens if I try to cast it on you, buddy? Another I hope you have your affairs. Look what. Rookwood's out here, huh? The Madagascar! What? You should be dead. It literally went through! Hmm. I don't know if he's dead and like exploded. I can't believe it. Rookwood's reign is finally over. I'll need to send an owl to Natty right away. For now, though, I need to get back to the map chamber and tell Fig what's happened. Ah, uh, unless while I was dealing with that, Ranrock launched an assault on Hogwarts. The final repository. Mr. Alivander fashioned a wand from the Keeper's artifacts, now to return to it in the map chamber. Yeah, sorry, Poppy, but we've reached the point of, uh... The game where I think I'm just gonna do this mission. And put a stop to Ranrock's plans. Yeah, I don't know, it didn't really seem like we took out Rookwood, but I guess we did. He's, he, he is Adams. Dust floating in the wind.
Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the Keeper's wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He got what he deserved. He destroyed so many lives and wouldn't have stopped. I'm glad I was able to put an end to him. You're right. He wouldn't have stopped. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community owes you a great debt. Yeah, Thank you, do. you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book, the trials. No, they really were unnecessary. That one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. Does that include y'all? you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. Okay, that what one's fluff. in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. Really? You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. <laughs> All right. I mean, I'm fine about not controlling or using the repository power. Like, I get it. But just protecting it and leaving it there for the future? Man, they've got a lot of faith. <laughs> they've got a lot of faith in wizard kind. We can only hope that we're not too late and that we find nothing but a repository undisturbed beyond this door. Yeah, we can only hope. Because it's either going to be that or a drill's going to burst through right as we come in. Yeah, I don't know. I think I'm pretty powerful enough as is. I don't really need... I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle will protect against an incursion from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you they will in the future. <laughs> Were you able to reach Professor Weasley? I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Good. We need reinforcements. Maybe. Ah, uh, there it is. Damn, the goblins. I wonder if Ranrock is here. Let's of course go. he is. He wants the power for himself. If his loyalists are here, he cannot be far behind. You and I have faced worse, Professor. Search the area. Must be here somewhere. We must be getting closer. Ranrock will be pleased. We take him out as fast as possible! We need to press on. Ranrock must be here somewhere. This drill stands between us and him. We need to move it. I shall handle it. One moment. Let's go. <laughs> that works. I mean, we could just work together on that. Hey, a troll! Hey, two trolls! Where are the other professors? Ooh. 
More enemies. That's not who I wanted, Iglesias! Ugh. Anyways. <laughs> Well, at this rate, Ranrock will reign over nothing. Now what? Ah, uh, I see ancient magic over Professor, here. That wall. That's the way forward. Jesus. It worked. Let's go. The way that Professor Fig talked was so weird there. Very perceptive, my young friend. What? Ranrock must be getting closer to finding the repository. I fear you're right, Professor. There's nothing we can do but keep searching. And chugging focus potions so my Vatic dad was always ready. Listen, more goblins up ahead. How many do we have here? Quite a few. It would take all wizarding card to take us out. Well, or one little girl. These tunnels haven't brought us much luck so far. Oh no, we're making progress. We're getting closer, Professor. That way. I feel like Ranrock's gonna make it to the repository. And he's gonna be super powered. That's a lot of enemies. It's a good thing I probably don't have to face any of them. Woo! The teachers are here! This is really funny because I have like fucking basically no respect for these professors. So this doesn't really impress me at all. <laughs> somehow evaded the castle's defensive charms. We shall make quick work of them. They got this. Yeah, I, I believe in them. Thanks, professors! We're in the thick of it now. Please don't give me any homework later! They're gonna give me homework later. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Ranger! Rain hell on your friends. I don't think so. Wow, now maybe Reparo 
the po the column keeping the cave up. Hi, Professor Weasley. <laughs> that works! Drop it! <laughs> hey, the giant statues, they're probably gonna attack us. They're probably not happy about this situation. magic and I, I passed the trials of the keepers um go on quickly let me pass oh boy This whole notion is fucking ridiculous. Who made these giant statues filled with ancient magic? I'm relieved we got here before Ranrock. Was it just Wreckham? This is it. The repository has been under the castle for hundreds of years. Think of all the pain that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? Hmm. Well, I thought there were three options here, but no, instead we've got two. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it contained here. I plan to keep the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking. What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner trusted them more. You should have. The Keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? Uh, I shall keep it secret for now. Yeah, I don't think this should be a secret forever. I think that we need to find a way to either properly use it or properly dispel it. I plan to keep it a secret for now, but in time, when I'm ready, I plan to tell those I trust everything and accept their help. I believe that is what Miriam would have wanted. We should trust in others. If anyone can rise to this challenge, my friend, it is you. Thanks, Professor. Anyways, here's Ranrock, right? God. The arrogance of wizard kind. Yeah. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. A wand. If she'd simply handed over the container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish, self-important witch. Seems you two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either. Oh damn, that was a targeted shot. 
So much for keeping the repository contained. Jesus. Fucking smack down! Um What are we doing now? Ugh. It's feeding off the power from the repository. <laughs> you beautiful child! So you say <sighs> Oh, maybe I just reflect this back. Oh boy. Oh, oh, it's this shit again! If only stupid I worked on the dragon, but it does eat. Alright, I'm just gonna do regular reflections then. You can't stop me! Hey! The repository! <laughs> There's just a potion on it. I wonder what a Vada Cadaver does to the dragon. Ooh. What was that? I guess I guess a Vada Cadaver didn't do anything to the dragon. I don't think you have any idea what you're doing. He's just kind of winging it. I guess literally. You can't run forever. There's nowhere to hide now. Whoa! That's not a blockable. All right. Fucking do something! Oh my god! Of magic at this time. Generate your power, I'll take it all out. Ow! Son of a bitch! Every time, every time I'm trying to do something. Yeah, okay. The ancient magic he has is just too strong! Oh, oh I tried to throw that back. I didn't, <laughs> other ones have been available for me to do that. Oh no, I died! 
You're kidding me! Try again. I was spamming down, but I just like fucking animation canceled it a whole bunch. I'll just dodge those, I guess. Sufficient amounts of time, yes! I can! Ow, what the fuck? I don't even know what the hell hit me. Fuck. Back to chunk of potions! Here, invisibility! Can't see me now! I think you can see me now. Jesus Christ, he's knock it off! You know what you need? A uh, Mandrake star! Bro, using the items in this game sucks so much. Like, what the f- I select Mandrake. Swap to it. He doesn't care. That's fair. Crucio, take some damage over time, why don't you? Or I can just blow him up! <laughs> what is going on with him? <laughs> Are you supposed to be defeated? Well, you lost your dragon form, Ramrock. I think it's over. What happens now that all this energy is just released? It seems like it's gonna take out the school. Professor Fink, you're still alive! <laughs> I guess we'll just wing it too! Even though we never learned how to actually, like, control the... Emotional energy. Huh? That sounds like a death flag. Uh, 
Professor, I have like 15 plus. Damn him. No! I've got Wicked Mod potions! Professor, no! <gasps> I've got a fucking gallon of Wicked Well potion! Why couldn't I just use that? <laughs> I guess there are things that Wicked Well potions can't stop. I didn't even try. That's the worst part. <clears throat> professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you. Certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. Yeah. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge. He built a reputation... charging into the unknown. Brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety. <laughs> providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. Ah, my lordy. Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not for Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can, by wisely, resourcefully, Justly and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig. Here, here. Now raise my water bottle. <laughs> Never imagined oh we'd attend a funeral for one of our professors. <sighs> Glad Weasley spoke for Fig. She honored him. He'll be well remembered. I only wish we could have done the same for Solomon Sallow. I need to go and see Anne soon. Ominous, there's something I need to tell you. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if you faced quite a fight. The rumor's true, and I did. But it's not that. Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. The same words Anne heard before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Victor Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. You see, since Feldcroft was of interest to Ranrock, it became of interest to Rookwood as well. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. When he saw Anne, well, he didn't want anyone to know that... So he cursed her. Oh, so cruel. Rookwood got what he deserved. 
Thank you for telling me. Anne and Sebastian deserve to know, and it should come from me. Yeah, go for it. As we discussed, I spoke with Black. Sebastian's with the headmaster now, but perhaps there's a way to get word to him. When I find out, I'll send an owl. All right, we skipped forward, I guess. I think we're in spring. Some time has passed. We might have stopped Ranrook, or <laughs> Ran Rock. God. But our adventure isn't over yet. And our classmates still don't show up in this room. Congratulations, you've completed the story of Hogwarts Legacy and reached the end of your school year. With your OWL exams fast approaching, now is a good time to review your field guide progress, explore the world, finish any remaining relationship storylines and side quests, and complete your field guide as you see fit. Woo! All right. Well, let's read the, uh... The mail I just got from Natty, because that got awkwardly interrupted. Please meet me in Manor Cape as soon as possible. I received an interesting owl from Johanna Bickle about Harlow. Ah. Yeah, we still haven't taken out everyone who was messing things up. I have news about Sebastian. Meet me in the Undercroft as soon as you can. Sure. Does anybody else want to have a chat with me? Obviously, I still have to help Poppy. We just had uh, other She's things to do first. Showing off about her puff skin grooming. Fur like silk. What shine? Ugh, I could be sick. Why would I want to hear what you're good at? <laughs> People who boast are insecure. That's what okay, we, we, we heard that line. I guess let's head to the Undercroft. Shame we never got a flu flame in there, but I understand why. Need to meet with Professor Weasley in the Transfiguration Classroom. Weasley's watchful eye. Yeah, I bet she's uh, going to be trying to keep an eye on us after everything that's happened. We did kind of lie to her a whole lot as well. In the shadow of friendship. All right. Uh, I'm still. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was. A little, uh, was <laughs> little confused about some things. Need I remind you that you are studying at Hogwarts and not the Three Broomsticks? You'll never become an Auror. <laughs> okay, <laughs> got cut short there. So they never really. We didn't get full elaborations on things. Obviously, that's sort of the point. Like, they don't know themselves how the whole emotion magic that Isadora locked up works. And, like, but at least we could, I would have liked to have known more of, like, the negative effects. Because for all we've seen, what I've actually seen, Issa took all the emotions from her dad. Took some of the emotions from students. And that was really it. Which is still, like, you know, not good. Like, she's experimenting with this basically dark magic. This is something that would be, con you know, considered dark magic in this world. Her fucking just... Experimenting on kids and taking away negative emotions. And also storing that power in a way that can be, like, usable. By beings that otherwise wouldn't necessarily have that magic. But it's just so odd because I nothing really full convinced me. Of what was going. It felt like there should be like a little bit more. Like something else was at work. Right? Like, it never really touched on the fact that Isadora experimented on herself, so that maybe she lost some of her own, like, emotions that would have made her more considerate, have more empathy, sympathy, and, like, think things through. She did just get Avada Kedavra just killed, and that was really it. But, yeah, I guess it's a shrug. It's like, alright, well, we don't know how this thing works. 
Maybe it can be used for good. Maybe it can't. But that's not for us to decide currently, Thank you for I guess. Coming. Ominous, I received your owl. What's happened with Sebastian? He's been expelled and will soon face trial at the Ministry. Although Anne wanted to turn him in, I think now she's torn. I confess I know how she feels. As much as we all wanted Sebastian to face the consequences of his actions, it will never be the same without him. Just standing here in the Undercroft without Sebastian feels wrong. I never thought things would end this way. I hope we did the right thing. I hope so too. Were you able to tell Sebastian about Rookwood cursing Anne? I was. Black let me talk to Sebastian before he left. At first he wouldn't believe it. Then he realized it all made sense. Unfortunately, his anger only grew towards goblins and dark wizards. Anne was shocked too, but in some sense relieved to know the truth about who was responsible. I think it brought her some peace. I'm glad to hear it. She deserves peace. <laughs> she does. Sebastian was my best friend. I can't imagine Hogwarts or anywhere without him. I know you two had grown close, that you were helping each other with more than just finding a cure for Anne. He never gave specifics, but I know it was important. He meant means a lot to us both. I hope we get the chance to tell him that one day. I know we had a bit of a rocky start, but you've proven yourself as a friend. Thanks, Ominous. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. Yeah. And I'm sorry about Sebastian, but I I, I do hope we found ourselves. Duncan owes his reputation to you. <laughs> Just he's spouting his random NPC lines. I I hope that if they make a sequel to this game. That we don't do like a massive time skip and end up playing as like a different character. Because I feel like our story really isn't like finished here at all. Especially because of the different ways that whole last uh, scenario could work out. Because obviously you can choose to like take the repository power for yourself. And I don't know what kind of like you know, connotations that would have. Taking them down. But, uh... Yeah, Alright, I guess... Let's figure out what we're gonna be doing here. I do have... A grab horn, so I could put that in my... Vivarium. Not that it really super matters, because... I don't have any gear to upgrade. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see any orange gear. I'm really surprised that, like, by the end of the game, we're still getting, like, tons of green items. A lot of games will make it so that by the end of the game, you don't, you're not even getting green items anymore. You're mostly getting, like, the blues, the purples, and then, like, a higher chance at oranges. Or you could, like, upgrade a stat to make it that way. But instead, we're just still getting tons of greens that I just will never use. All right, we have quite a few more things to do. We have to talk with uh, Professor Weasley, do whatever else we have to do to prepare for our owls. O-W-L-S. And then there's a lot of side missions inside of Hogwarts. So let's, uh, I know I'm standing right next to Percy right now, but we'll, we'll go to... Let's go to Natty first. And then, but actually before I do that, I will put the grab horn inside of the uh, other room. Maybe I should go to the, the map room. This will be more useful when I have something to identify. I need to talk with the keepers. Maybe they can finally stop being cryptic about everything and give me some more information. Because another thing that was happening there is just like... 
clearly the ancient magic can be used for quite a lot, but we're not being taught any of that. We're just kind of like winging it when it comes to doing things with ancient magic. But I have to imagine they used ancient magic to make the make all the trials and make all of the things that um, kept it blocked off for all this time too. Lord of the Shore. Uh, grab horns are large mountain dwelling beasts that have tough hide and two sharp horns. The tentacle like appendages on grab horns faces are used for capturing food and tending to their young. Grab horns are known for their aggressive nature, however, a witch or wizard has been known to befriend one in rare circumstances. Oh, oh it's so big! Holy hell, alright. <laughs> Don't run off, little phoenix! Wow, those grew in size. Please don't eat any of the other creatures in here. Too little Hooper, even if I can't see you right now. Darn it. Oh, I got it. Damn it, I keep using my potions by accident. That's okay. We've got plenty waiting downstairs for me. Ooh, I never noticed that my uh, hand glows when I take that Maxima Potion. It was kind of amusing how that whole final encounter played out. Oh, shit. Huh? Uh? Oh! Wait, am I getting more space? Holy hell! Um, okay. I don't really need all this space now, but like, thanks, I guess. <laughs> these patients, these patients. I did use quite a bit of those. I guess if I wanted to, I could really stylize this room. Make it really fancy for the nobody who's gonna go in here. Actually, have really low amounts of some of these other items. It's because I can't just grow them here. It's a shame. Like the hork lump juice, Jesus. Ability potions. Even if I'll never end up using the rest of the nine. Eh, maximum potion. Alright. Well, I've slightly restocked on that stuff. Let's go see Nat.